Flux budget is the nicely antique way of describing any high-tech radio link. Here we can once again gain a feeling of what is happening in our links and describe them graphically. Take this as a simple example. We begin by generating the signal and sending it to an amplifier. This signal then needs to be taken from the output up to the antenna. Here it's liberated into the ether and some is received by a remote antenna down its cable to the receiver for reamplification. At every stage the signal is subject to some gain. Let's draw this in explaining that the signal can only experience loss in the cable connecting it to the antenna. From the previous section we know that a well-connected, well-tuned antenna will appear to provide some gain in the link. This is followed by the greatest loss as the signal is transmitted to the receiving antenna. Here, once again, it's subject to gain, to suffer more loss in the feeder before being sent to the receiver. Some say engineering is a black art for geeks, surrounded by secrecy like the magic circle, and cite DB as a totem. In truth, it's a deceit, as it's only used really to make things simple. We could describe the gain or loss at each stage in, say, percentages, like this. As we move through the chain, we would have to multiply each of the values to see the power at each stage. Quite a calculation, and subject to error. Enter the dB, the decibel, deci meaning a tenth, and bell after the American scientist. I know that it's not helpful to say that dB is just a ratio, and I know it's even less useful to say that it's also expressed as a logarithm, but stick with this. Decibels equals 10 log to the base 10 of a ratio. That's the maths, but just remember some magic numbers for everyday use. A gain of 10 is 10. A gain of 100 is 20. A gain of 1,000 is 30, and a gain of 10,000 is 40. You see the pattern? You can keep going. Knowing this, you can see why the gain of 1 is expressed as 0 dB. Don't stop. Go further. Two other useful figures are that a gain of 2 is 3 dB and a gain of 4 is 6 dB. And of course, this is reflected here. So now you know the dB code. That is it. But why? Well, notice how the use of the log has compressed the scale of the numbers from millions to millionth to just plus 60 to minus 60. And the scale is easier to plot. It's a new and more convenient currency. But there's more. Going back to our link, we can convert the losses. With the logs all lined up, that horrid multiplication disappears. All we need to do is to add all of the inline losses and gains we are in meerkat territory. All we now need to do is to convert the power of 1 milliwatt into dB. We said dB is a ratio, so how can an absolute power level be converted into dB? Well, the measure of power is the watt, so the equation would be dB equals 10 to the log base 10 of 1 milliwatt over a watt. So it follows minus 30 dB when compared to a watt. We can make this a little simpler by comparing the power to something a little more reasonable in RF circuits. Let's take 1 millimot as our reference. This gives dB equals 10 to the log base 10, 1 milliwatt over 1 milliwatt. And we end up with 0. And to record this related to a milliwatt, we say dBm. 1 milliwatt is therefore 0 dBm. Doesn't mean there's no signal, it means it's 0 dBm, the ratio.